We begin tonight with a local family who says a jury failed them. That jury found a police officer not guilty of murder for shooting and killing William Green inside a police cruiser. It took that jury just about two hours to make that decision, and that decision brought chaos to the courtroom. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Jim Hadley. And I'm Leon Harris. Sean is off tonight. For the first time in three years, Officer Michael Owen is a free man tonight, but Green's family believes that he does not deserve a second chance. This person has evil in his heart. And whether he's a civilian from now on or a policeman, he's going to kill again. He's going to continue to harm people because he don't know any different. Two years ago, Prince George's County agreed to pay Green's family $20 million. It was the largest settlement in county history. But as News 4's Darcy Spencer explains tonight, the family believes justice slipped through the cracks. I was in the courtroom when the not guilty verdicts were read and all five charges Michael Owen found not guilty. Then the courtroom erupted into chaos. There were many people on the victim side, William Green, who were very upset, very emotional. Many of them walked out of the courtroom even before all of the verdicts were read. At one point, I did see one person taken into custody in handcuffs. There was another person inside the courtroom who passed out and got physically sick. Now, Michael Owen was found not guilty on all charges, including second degree murder. That was the most serious charge. He did take the stand in his own defense, saying that he felt in fear for his life when he fired those shots. He's shooting William Green six times, and Green was handcuffed behind his back in Owen's patrol car back in January of 2020 when this happened. But again, the jury finding him not guilty on all charges, and the state's attorney told us that she was disappointed disappointed, but respects the jury's decision. There were only two people in the vehicle that night that could tell us what happened. And unfortunately, one of them is no longer with us. And there's no justice in this country for black and brown people. This is proof. I don't know how bad it has to get for police to be held accountable for their actions. This is a sad day in Prince George's County today because I thought there would be some semblance of justice today for the Green family, for the heinous murder. Owen had been suspended without pay from the Prince George's County Police Department and he was being held without bond. Now that he's been acquitted on all charges, he's expected to be released from custody. In Upper Marlboro, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Michael Owen was the first officer in county history arrested for an on-the-job murder. The Prince George's County Police Department released a statement tonight saying, quote, The department is aware of today's verdict in the Michael Owen trial. He remains suspended without pay at this time. The internal administrative review will continue.